Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. In this box right here, I have the new Jordan 1 that's part of the new Jordan 30th celebration. The Jordan 1 has always been really important for the Jordan brand. And today I got something slightly different for you guys. So what shoe am I talking about? The Jordan 1 Rare Air. The shoe comes with the new Jordan box and on the top lid there's a golden Jumpman logo. And on the front it reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High. I got it in a size 11 and a half. It retails for 140. The color is black, gym red, black, white. This shoe is not an original Jordan 1, and therefore it doesn't come with the original shoe box compared to the Jordan 1 Chicago. Let's take out the shoe. Here we got it, the brand new Jordan 1 Retro Rare Air. I'm a really big Jordan 1 fan, and my first impression of this shoe is that I really like it. It's a clean and simple sneaker with the upper parts of black and red and then the lower parts of white. It's a really great shoe for your entire wardrobe. It's a great shoe, but there's still a few things that I would like to change about it. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. This sneaker most definitely got a lot of inspiration from the original, the band version of the Jordan 1. In this video, I'll compare certain parts of this sneaker to the Jordan 1 Chicago. Let's start at the front. The toe box is all black and the leather is not as smooth as the Jordan 1 Chicago. This sneaker only comes with black laces compared to the Jordan 1 Chicago that comes with red and white. But in my opinion, I think that this sneaker looks the best with black laces. Okay, so moving up to the tongue. The tongue is all mesh material and it's a lot thinner in comparison to the Jordan 1 Chicago. On the upper parts of the tongue, there's a feature that doesn't exist on the traditional Jordan 1. It's a Velcro system that allows you guys to change the branding. This sneak comes with three different designs and it's really easy just to rip it off and place a new one. This sneak comes with three different styles. The first one is a red background with a black Jumpman logo. The next one is a black background with rare air in white letters. And the last one is a black background with a red Jumpman logo. So let's see what these three looks like on the sneaker. So now when you've seen all three on the sneaker, which one is your favorite? Uh, my favorite, I have to say, is the Rare Air because I've never been a really, really big fan of the Jumpman logo on the top parts of the tongue. I've always liked the Nike Air logo the most. I am hoping that someone will make these patches in the traditional Jordan 1 Nike Air logo. The first thing I noticed on the top part of the sneaker is that they replaced the Wingman logo with the original Air Jordan in letters. The second thing I noticed is that this version has mesh materials on two parts, the upper parts and then underneath the logo. Compared to the Jordan 1 Chicago, that's all leather. The swoosh is all red and it creates a great contrast all the way around the sneaker. The midsole is all white with a white outsole. But this is one of the things that I want to change. Compared to the Jordan 1 Chicago, you have red upper parts and then with a red outsole. But on this one, it's white on white. I would rather want to have it white and then with a black outsole. If we turn to the back, we have mesh materials on the upper and then leather on the rest. There's a black Jumpman logo at the lower parts of the heel. I personally don't really like the Jumpman logo at the heel. I like this one, the cleaner look on the original Jordan 1. But I'm still kind of glad they kept it a black Jumpman logo instead of a red because it creates a cleaner and more subtle look. The information label is placed in the upper parts of the tongue. If we take a look underneath the shoe, there's a typical Jordan 1 outsole in white. This sneaker fits my feet really great. It's true to size and it's just a great shoe.
I really like this sneaker because it's easy to mix and match with my entire wardrobe. For me, less is more, and with this new combination of the red and black colors, it just creates a really nice combination. I'll probably just use the Rare Air patch, but I'll try to use these ones and see if I like it. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, hit that subscribe button above and leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. On this side you will see the Nike SB Dunk from Concepts, the stained glass. And on this side you're going to see the Adidas Tubular X. Thanks for watching, see you next week.